Welcome back. Republicans on the House Judiciary Committee now threatening a subpoena to subpoena special counsel Jack Smith unless he turns over records related to the prosecution of former President Trump. Chairman Jim Jordan citing the expansive search warrant Smith obtained for Donald Trump's Twitter account. Meanwhile, a new survey finds nearly seven out of ten voters believe politics has played a role in the four indictments against Trump. Fifty-eight percent of the people say Biden was directly behind the charges. Trump pollster John McLaughlin claims Biden is trying to make Donald Trump the Nelson Mandela of America. Doug, your thoughts? <laughs> Look, my former pollster is also a good one, too. I mean, that's a pretty amazing comment. But it's true. I mean, you, every time... It, I've said it earlier in the show, and I'll say it again now. Donald Trump doesn't have to convince people now that they're out to get him. I mean, this has just become the, the norm in, in this sector. But I have a question for you, Maria. My interesting thing is seven out of ten Americans believe that, you know, this is politically motivated. My question is, what's wrong with the other three? I mean, yeah. because it, you look at these cases, you look at the Jack Smith case, you look at now how the prosecution in this case, Jack Smith, is trying to jump an appellate decision to get to the Supreme Court so he can try him quicker. You got Colorado who went through a kangaroo court uh, process in which there was no due process and now saying, yes, he committed uh, insurrection, which he's never been charged for, never been convicted of, no due process. I thought the Democrats were the ones that, you know, were claiming due process on everything, but we've seen in the past few years only if it doesn't apply to Donald Trump. So, yeah. the, again, it's just amazing. Pe more people don't see it. Yeah, I, it's amazing, Ryan. Or they do and they're not speaking out. Yeah, no, I think there's a portion of the country that just doesn't like Donald Trump, right? So they'll believe anything that's bad news about Donald Trump. But I think overall, anytime he's in the spotlight, um, it's just great promotion for Donald Trump. And I think that's what uh, a lot of people get wrong. Like when he was indicted down in Georgia, he had a website with T-shirts he was selling and mugs. So I think this does play into, we know that a lot of this is always politically motivated. It's not really, uh, you know, something Donald Trump has actually done wrong. And I think that does help his campaign coming into 2024. Yeah, former Reagan Attorney General Ed Meese presented arguments before the Supreme Court saying all of special counsel's Jack Smith's requests should be rejected because he claims he was unconstitutionally appointed in the first place as special counsel. Me says that because Smith is a private citizen, he's on vi in violation of the appointments clause of the Constitution. Doug, what yeah, do you think? Be, yeah, if that be true, then I, you know it's again it throws a whole wrench in this case. But you know, Maria, again, for those of us who've been doing this for so long, it's just like you're you're like right. That's actually something that could actually be proven, and they're not looking at it to do, and you get really disappointed in it, thinking that actually something may happen with the law. What's really disturbing here for me over this whole discussion is is that average Americans now uh, are being the ones. If you can do this at the highest level, what are we doing in the lower in the lowest level where you're seeing prosecutors prosecuting based on person, not crime? You're seeing prosecutors not prosecuting people at all this is again we haven't you know we've not talked about this enough I believe there's becoming this crisis in our judicial system altogether where judges are named by who they appointed or what party affiliation is and not are their understanding of the law and the Constitution you have people who are being treated uh, because of last names being treated differently which you know there's been some always in our country but now it's just becoming outright uh, blatant and Maria I think the the person who loses in this is the people who are just caught up in a system who don't know anything about this and they lose faith in our system. When we lose faith in America, our voting processes, our judicial processes, that's who we are. That's that's mm -hmm. the underlying level of us, and we can't afford to do that. Right. I mean, look, I don't think anybody can tell you we know how all of these legal issues are going to play out for Donald Trump, but he is obviously showing an outsized performance in the field. He is the number one candidate right now. Mm -hmm. Doug, what do you think? Is he going to be on trial on March 4th, the day before Super Tuesday? Uh, are, are these indictments going to affect his campaigning and take him out of this race? I think he could be actually the nominee before March 4th, the way the, the polls are going and the way Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina are going. So it's going to be interesting to see how that would play out even before Super Tuesday. Uh, look, they're going to try their best to get these cases as fast as they can. Jack Smith, and even when you got the liberal media actually saying Jack Smith can't articulate a reason why he wants the Supreme Court to rule on this, and, or he won't do it, and it's because he wants the trial to start in March. That shows the problem. I think this is going to be pushed off. The judge actually in the case did the right thing by saying we're staying everything at this point. Um, uh, so it could be he'll be on trial at some point this year, whether it be Georgia or one of these federal cases. But uh, I don't think it's going to affect anything, and I think it just reinforces the fact that they believe that uh, they're out to get Trump because they just don't like him. Well, that certainly has been the case so far. 